All right, we're back with Bleach. Dusty Boiler, episode 18. Uh, Go drink some today. What is wrong with you? <laughs> Don't listen to him. I would not recommend that. That's no. Oh, that's that, that. That's just a Darwin Award waiting to happen. <laughs> but uh, you yes. Put everyone rule. <laughs> <laughs> wrong series. <laughs> But we got lots of fighting against too, with our great hero Mask the Masculine. Well, let's get right into it. Along with a bunch of Bankais. Who doesn't love Bankais? Not Bankais. <laughs> ah, so the Bankai, not Bambi. Wait a minute. So first, we open with uh, anime mm -hmm. only scene with Squad 12 people talking about the results of what's going on with the Soul Reapers. One is Todd, one is Robbie Damon, one is GD Toronto. This is stupid. Why? I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure they, they, they have also been used as those same ad voices in this squad. They might have. I'm not sure. In the sure. last core. Maybe. Well, yeah. Um, Udahana I, know Mayuri least, and... I know at least she has. Yeah. Well, Akon, Udahana, Mayuri are all here. Basically talking about how 30% of the fighting force are the only ones left, and Soyphone and Hitsugaya are injured. No one knows where Rangiku is. But but it's okay, because Kensei and Rojuro, their status are all right. They also don't know where Squad 11 is, but Akon's like, oh, you don't need to worry about them. They can handle themselves. So. My eerie comments... What's up? He's being slightly less British than last time. <laughs> well, because he's not injured. <laughs> I mean, my area says this is pathetic. These people literally can't function without their superior officers. Are you serious? As he calls Shunsui, telling him, Hey, uh, why don't you do your damn job, head captain, and rally everyone? As uh, Mayuri patches him into everybody, Shunsui gives everyone a map of the new landscape, saying that he knows it's a bit confusing, but it's okay. Because now, they know where everything is. And tells them to get to a barracks that hasn't been taken over yet to regroup. So see, we actually get to see Shunsui act as an actual head captain in this new scene. That's nice. You like Shunsui, right, Dai? If you say yeah, no, you're lying to me. He just... He, but he just wants to get drunk and be lazy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he knows when to be serious. <laughs> Well, it was nice to see how his approach is very laid back compared to Yamamoto, who was the complete opposite when he was head captain. Or he's one of the few anime characters that wears an eye patch because they're actually missing an eye. And yeah. not because they're a chuny or some shit. Well, after the OP now, Mask versus Kensei. Because uh, they, they, they claim they were going to T team up on him, but no, they're gonna fight him one on one. You know, cause why not? One at a time. You Kens know, Kensei goes Bonkai. Uh, Tekken Tashi uh, Kaze. There we go. Well, I mean, Tekken, you, you all know that series translates, you know, Iron Fist, and what a coincidence with what uh, Kensei's abilities are. Hit Iron it, die. Fist. I mean... Explosion fist, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, even I mean, I, I mean, you've seen Jax's arms. We, we've we seen the, those views on the MK videos. <laughs> That's essentially what it is. That fourth wall break, I should slap you for that. <laughs> but yeah, uh, anytime he hits you, he says, like, the explosive power comes mm -hmm. out. As Mask, like, hey, I'll yeah. let you out for a ten count. Last man standing match? But yeah. it doesn't go as planned as Kensei starts beating the hell out of Mask. And I think Aaron's doing a really good job here as Kensei. No, he sounds close enough. He's like, well, is that all you got? What? What? Oh, I thought you were going to say something about Mask getting his ass kicked. No wrestling moves yet, though. Yeah. But it's... What's up? Yeah, I, I'm sure. I, I'm sure he's down for the count. He totally. is. Yeah. That's when James shows up to cheer him on, saying, 
You're not just a champ. You're a superstar. And Shuhei struggles to warn Kensei about it. As he goes one step farther. Come on. You're not just a wrestler. You're the champion. Reiterating what he Ooh, said. Champ. Yeah. Yeah. And Mask is up saying uh, that you're right. He's the letter S for superstar. Which I actually didn't catch up saying that the first time I watched this. So whatever. But he goes in now on the attack, doing the Star Eagle kick, which you said wasn't really a kick. It was a knee. This is Mr. Tang Kitwit, I guess. No, but whatever. I'm closer to a kick than, than that. He also does the Mega Star Headbutt. Dead. That was actually a headbutt, so. He got, yeah. he got one out of two, right? <laughs> Kensei's getting his ass kicked here. And T Ultimo gets taken out. Doesn't he get taken out with a knee drop? Yeah. Well, he then says, I don't even think we'll need a 10 count. But suddenly, James is shanked by Rogero. <laughs> As <laughs> Mask just goes, You coward! How dare you skewer someone whose only crime was just being a devoted fan! <laughs> now we get Rojiro's Bankai. Uh, Kimshara Butodon. It's music related. Don't, don't, don't a like bunch of CGI puppets? Yeah. And he, it's basically forces you to hallucinate or whatever and be in fucked up situations. Like part if one. You, what's it? If you think you're on fire, therefore you are on fire. Yep. Sea drift where you're attacked by, by water. And then part two, as he calls Prometheus. No, not the dumb fucking movie. But the, the one with fire. And the mask is screaming, this is just deception, isn't it? And Roger was like, of course it is. Isn't all great art a form of deception? Now dance to the <laughs> rhythm of despair. <laughs> As he says, now it's time for the final part, the melody of your death. Ein Helden Leben, which we don't really get to see. It is German, I don't know what that means. I know Ein means one, I got that. But before it can kill Mask, Mask, the crazy Kills bastard... Kills his ears. Yep, ruptures his eardrums. Mm. And... Doesn't Rojo get impaled here by a star? More or less. Yes. Like, should, yeah. He, 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 he literally has a star-shaped hole in his chest. <laughs> I mean, Kirk also did really fucking good as Rojo. It sounds like the replacements around this time are starting to find their groove with the characters that they're voicing. So, I mean, we even brought up Alex. I mean, he only had, like, one well. line of dialogue in the last core, anyways. Yeah. But there is something we will bring up. Why did neither of you two use your visored masks? Y yeah, like, we've already seen when Ichigo stacks his with his Bonkai, it helps him. Actually, Shinji didn't really use his either against Bambietta, though you could, I guess, yeah. argue maybe she threw him off with her attack before he could use it, but... I don't know. My my theory is, well, maybe the visored mask would only stack if it's physical power up. So that's why Rojo couldn't, because this is gimmicky as hell. But that doesn't excuse Kensei. Uh, I don't know. Well, at least they got. I mean, it just boosts the power of your Bonkai in general if Ichigo spamming it as any indication. Yeah. Well, whatever. Point is, Mask has now taken down three equivalent of lieutenants, because I count Ikaku and Yumichika as lieutenants. I mean, they're, they're on par with them, right? No, uh, uh, no, they're not lollies. They can't be lieutenants. Wait, Shuhei's a lolly? <laughs> you know what I mean. <laughs> That's yeah. what, it, we're talking I, I... about squad <laughs> Yeah, I know. He also, but it, he also took down two captains as well. And if you, th he took down Renji in Core One too. Like this motherfucker is racking up a winning streak here. All right. 
Like, I, it might be the highest out of the Quincy's that have gone up against seated officers. So, you know, good for him. Now, before he yeah, can... Maybe, maybe Bambi could have took out, taken out more people if she wasn't obsessed with a dog. Yeah. <laughs> well, before he could finish them off, though, for good, suddenly, people arrive. Runji and Rukia! So, yeah. Actually, are there tires updated here, by the way? Yes. Uh, yeah, because I, I think Renji, if I remember right, was wearing I'm something I'm pretty sure new they wore the outfits version. similar to these in Waco Mundo when they first showed up. Yeah, maybe. I don't I don't remember. I haven't seen the manga panels in years. <laughs> but I can't see them. Anyway, um, yeah. So, we're getting ready to get a rematch. As Renji tells Rukia to take the two captains for help... As Rukia agrees, saying that she doesn't need to help Renji. That mask is no match for him, for who Renji is now. Wow, Rukia's acknowledging Renji's strength now. I suppose more people aren't... Him. Yeah, I don't know. I think this is well, it's actually kind of major, since she's always been the one to say we should fight together, etc. first. But now even she sees how strong Renji's become. Mask is like, what? Why don't you guys double team me? You know that that's it. You cowards love using dirty tactics. You villains. Also, James is back. He his respawn time is over, I guess. And he cheers on Mask, regenerating his ears. Rangely, Rangy quickly dispatches James. Rangely. At, yeah, Rangely. I bit my tongue. He quickly dispatches <laughs> James again here, though. And uh, this is one of the parts that was shortened in the anime version. You actually do get more of a fight here, where Renji doesn't just slash James once. No, he cuts him into fucking pieces in the manga. <laughs> and... Yeah, that's when Mask in the manga version also uses Murder Punch, the Iron Hammer of Justice. We got robbed of that, man! <laughs> oh well, you all could guess what happens. Mask doesn't do so well here. But back to the actual anime version. Uh... J uh, Mask is pissed off about what Renji did, saying, How dare you, that was a dirty trick. Renji says, Oh, are you gonna cry about it? Of course it was a dirty trick. I'm the villain here, remember? I love how Renji's going along with it, since Mask keeps calling him a coward and a villain. Everyone's playing along with Mask's bullshit, have you noticed that? Yeah. <laughs> like, what is this? Maybe, maybe it's one of his secret techniques. <laughs> Or he's just finding the right people to fight. <laughs> well, we've got another anime-only scene here. With Rukia bringing the two captains to Isane's uh, makeshift medical base that she has up. And who doesn't like seeing Isane? Way better than Rukia, right, Dai? The fuck? <laughs> well, she says the captains are fading fast, that they need to treat them immediately. Back it's with just a hole in the chest. I'm sure Roger will be fine. Yeah. Play him a lullaby. He loves music. <laughs> well, Renji attacks Mask again, and doesn't he tear his mask here? Yeah. <laughs> and Mask is like, you bastard. How dare you rip my mask? That's like ripping me into my soul. And anyone familiar with wrestling will know what this is an homage to, the whole the Luchador thing. <laughs> Since the masks are very important to them. It's just Grey Mysterio. Yeah. But now a bunch of Jameses are here. There's so many of them die, cheering him on. As Mask... Yeah, his voice is even silly coming from a crowd. I mean, even sillier coming from a crowd. <laughs> yep. <laughs> and now Mask has enough power to go Vol Standish. And his mask changes color here. Actually, what the fuck color I'm... was it before? Um. Yes. Well, because Renji now even it's asked. Black. Renji was like, what? Yeah, yes, you asked the most important question. Why did your mask change color? <laughs> well, Mask is now super angry because he's the champ as he goes for special kill Star Lariat. <laughs> Dude, these fucking moves. 
<laughs> or rocket. Hey, it was actually it was actually hilarious. So he's getting better at this. <laughs> rocket punch, and then star punch barrage, where he just keeps repeatedly saying star as he's punching. Gee, I wonder what that's supposed to be an homage to. <laughs> Could it tell ya? Uh, well, that Joe, was... Joe is not me me memorable. I don't know. <laughs> At least he didn't do auto, 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 auto. That was oh. essentially what he was doing, but just in star <laughs> instead. Yeah. But all the Jameses are cheering him on for his finisher, the Star Flash Supernova. Was <laughs> actually is it a, is it a supernova? It's a giant. It's a giant star. So I, I guess so. Kinda. Well, all the Jameses get hit by the attack too. Be like, mask, why, why, champ? And after the attack lands, mask like. Don't worry, James. A star is nothing without his fans. As long as I'm alive, you'll come back too. <laughs> but when the attack clears, all that's there is a giant snake head. Do you like snakes, Ty? Yes. And Renji's fine. As we get a flashback between Ichibe and Renji... As Ichibe reveals, he heals Abimaru. Yeah, it's not your son Pakto's real name. It's only it half. lied to you. <laughs> yep, it's only half its name. Because it hasn't acknowledged you yet. And it's like, what? That's bullshit. Also, how do you know all this? Ichibe says, are you really asking me that? I came up with the words Zan Pakto, Shikai, and Bankai. I was named by the Soul King... Um, he who speaks the true name. Any special phenomenon in the Soul Society, I came up with the name for. Especially that one. <laughs> so he will tell Renji Zabimaru's true name, but it's up to Renji to get Zabimaru to acknowledge him. Acknowledge me. Back to present, Renji goes Bankai, so oh Zabimaru, it's true name. And, yeah, Mask even acknowledges how dangerous it looks that he can't fuck around with this now. He gets grabbed by the monkey. Wait, what? Yeah, the baboon monkey form. Renji actually uses that this time, doesn't he? I don't think he used that in his text before. I don't remember. No, it's always been the snake head. Yep. Also, a new song by Shirasagi who plays here that has lyrics. You know, by the person that's sung number one and it's a really hype song it's fucking awesome <laughs> and yeah so you said he gets punched by the monkey no grabbed oh because it's after and he gets tossed. hit yeah it's after that where mask uh basically shouts on top of his lungs you piece of shit who do you think you are you think you can do this to a superstar you damn amateur enough of this justice crap you're dead yeah he's done with gimmicks he just wants to fucking kill renji now <laughs> and he does a final charge at renji and i think this one the snake park didn't like spanking the monkey i i, I get it <laughs> Yeah, this is when the snake part comes in, so how's the snake thing all different now, Die? Um, it's not a big snake that takes up the whole entire room. That means Renji can't ride on it anymore, though, doesn't it? Pro I mean, it'll pro that part will probably come out later. Now it's just him <clears throat> holding the snake head, and the snake head has the sword, sword coming out of its mouth. Yeah, does it end up biting a uh, mask or something like that? So it gets fucked up here. Well, just... kind of. If getting stabbed counts as being bitten, then yes. Bitten by the sword. And yeah, it causes... Seduced by the snake. <laughs> it causes him to disintegrate. As Renji remarks, went out in a blaze of glory like you wanted. Right, superstar? Even at the end, he fucking plays along into it. Fucking awesome fight. Even though a tiny bit was cut out, it's okay. This fight was still fucking awesome. How's the animation for it, Die? Take it really good. 
Are you even gonna ask at this point? True. But we're not done yet. post credit scene! And that, since Ichigo is more or less uh, doing his own thing, now we've got one with Uryu! As Yuha is saying to himself, so, James is dead. I guess James was Mask's real name all along. And he says, come back to me, James. It's okay. And, yeah. His soul is now absorbed back into Yuha. As we see Uryu and Hashwald talking next to him, uh, and Hashwald saying that Yuha is asleep, that that's when his power gathers and he can become the father to all Quincy's again, is when he's resting. So there's no disturbing him aloud. No <laughs> Uryu, alarm rock. <laughs> Uryu asks, why is Hashwald here? Hashwald says, well, it's because I'm closely connected. Uh, to you, ha. Huh? Actually, I guess all Quincy's are. He asks Uryu if he knows what kind of being you, ha, huh, is. That he's guessing not even Sok and Ishida, Uryu's grandfather, knew. Hashwad offers to tell him everything, since Uryu is going to be his successor. And that's how the ep ends. It's actually where the last manga changes, too. Because in the manga version, Hashwad comes across way more hostile towards Uryu in this scene. So, yeah. Basically, um, demanding what Uryu wants, and Uryu's like, I don't have to tell you, it's none of your business what I want. They, they don't have that type of exchange here. Yeah, he should, he, should, he should already know the answer to that. When someone asks you what you want, you just reply, justice. But Mask isn't there anymore. Also, you have Becoming a Shadow is anime only too, in that scene, when he absorbs the thing. So, but yeah. And next episode, we have As Not narrating the preview. And I'm just going to say this now. Um, knowing what's coming up in the manga and all that shit, next episode is going to be hype as fuck. So. But as far as this episode, did you have fun, dog? And if you do know what's coming up in the, ma uh, uh, in the manga, the OP already tells you all you need to know. Yep, so. We'll save that for next time. As far as this episode, though, Bill did fucking awesome as Mask. Honestly, I think everyone did really good. I, I liked everyone's performance all the way around across the board here. I love how confident uh, Wallace made Renji sound, too. Like, Renji fucking destroyed Mask. And remember yeah. how Mask kicked the shit out of all those seat officers and captains and everything, proving that Renji is clearly far above them now. But yeah. yeah. Anything else to add? Um. Don't get grabbed by the monkey. Instead, get seduced by the snake. <laughs> <laughs> Solid up. <clears throat> so, not much, not much complaints. Could nitpick the whole thing of them cutting a little bit of the fight, but it is what it is. You know, I'm not, honestly, I'm on the side that's just happy we're even getting this arc adapted at all. I never thought Bleach would ever come back. I'd lost hope, so. That's all I can really say here. Yeah, it took 10 years for Bleach and Armored Core to come back. Exactly. <laughs> I would say what does one have to do with the other, but both have JYB in it, so. And a few other people in common. But join us next time for uh, an episode focused on Asnot, and I cannot fucking wait. But let us know what you all thought of this episode. Like, these last couple of episodes have been fucking amazing so far. And. Yes, they both have Asnot in it. Exactly. You mean Armored Core? Oh, that's yeah, neat. voices. That's cool. I mean, I MVP for this episode. Both... I don't. I don't know. I got. I because I loved uh, Bill as Mask. It's fucking great. Wally as Renji. Great. Like, yeah, it's all good. So no one wins this week. It's all. It's all across the board. Solid. Or I could have just said they're both dubbed out of the same place. Yeah, Studio Opalus. We just drag on long enough. <laughs> what is it we all thought? If you agree, just for all know. And we'll be back next time with more. Bleach. I'll see you at World War. Until next time, guys.